can you can you not thank you pretty girl all right so we're getting ready to go on a nice little hike you can all have your own ways of doing it i like to um take this whole thing and put it inside the plastic bag ah that's just extra i do like to carry a little variety of seeds with me share them as i go i brought a, a whole bunch i'm gonna bring a whole bunch of extra carrot seeds which i actually Stuff that's going to be carried on me, stuff that's in my backpack. I always carry those. Some matches, some energy drinks, some cliff bars because my other bars are not in. Some drinks, some water. And the battery bank. Okay, good. Yeah. It's fully charged. It's going to go in here. In the backpack. Has seen better days, but my stuff is used. Oh yeah, I always carry this with me. I don't know. I don't even have the rope. I don't have the rope for it on me either. I should grab some of that. All right. Well, time to go for this hike. All right. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful night, morning. Sorry, it's a beautiful morning. They're like, what the fuck, dude? Oh, yeah. Almost forgot my hammer. How else am I gonna fucking dig up the fossils? Probably just coming back with petrified wood, but we'll see. Oh, God, this rock gets me every time. I mean... Geologists are getting what like what the fuck? <laughs> How did this huge huge rock? Why is it sitting on top of a bunch of dirt? Why? Right? Why? And if you look around, and I should have recorded back there, but it's nothing but a lot of big rocks. There's another good bullet. I mean this one. This one gets me every fucking time. And it, it's gonna it's gonna crash down here soon enough. It looks like we got some uh, ground squirrels who have a really epic home. I mean, like, look at that. That would just be epic, wouldn't it? And that's their home. I mean, one day, <laughs> look at this shit. So there was a lot of water long before this riverbed. This was all underwater. Because nothing else, what else could move a boulder like that? So it's like, that's the that's the problem. Is like, it's hard to say what's supposed to be here and what isn't. And if you dig down deep enough, it's just sand. And tinier rocks. Like, not all the rocks. I mean, there is a lot of sand at the bottom, right? Sand. I love this fucking place. I suppose if I could buy any property, it would be the property up back here. I would. I love it. It's you really you really never know what you're gonna find out here because it is so scattered. It's like even with the, the petrified wood I find, even the big pieces, they've already they've already been partially naturally polished. Oh hey. Speaking of the devil. Uh, that's how cold it is. There's some petrified wood. So that petrified wood very possibly could have already been deposited down long before these mega fucking rocks. Which, if you look, I mean, these rocks are sitting on top of it. So it's like the initial top layer isn't all that interesting. But as the river digs down into the soil and it gets all mixed up and just, it just gets all types of mixed up. Yeah, that's all. That's all. And you, I've been seeing this new type of... Uh, Want to be quartz, 
it was a big it was a big tube i'll give it that it was a big tube but it wasn't very refined it, this quartz just shatters on impact so it actually confused me for a while because i was like whoa i've never seen this type of crystal down here before and that's because it's light enough to actually float all the way down the riverbed and uh or it could just be now that it's getting exposed I don't know. I haven't found anything in like that in my core samples. I would have noticed by now. I haven't seen any of that. Mm. Can you die? There's my uh, there's my uh, domesticated coyotes. Yeah, it's interesting. The Native Americans saw him as the devil. Trickster. That's his name. Trickster. And look at the beauty of this thing. You see in this rock? This rock. Oh my God, it's stuck in there. It could be pretty big. This rock is well, it's well weathered. It's, it's been in a riverbed for a very long time. And what it is, it's a strata layer. It's a, it's a part of a strata layer that's literally it's been it's been in water long enough to actually <clears throat> fuck to be polished down. See, it's all smooth, and that's not from things just running onto it. That's also from it tumbling down. If I could, if I could. See, it's layered on all sides. It's just this was the side that's just recently been getting exposed. There's more water. It looks like that was its solid base, or you know what? It was probably connected, and then that's when it broke off, and it's relatively stated its same shape ever since it broke off from its original piece. But yeah, that's a. This is all the shadow layers mud and everything there could be fossils like that's the thing that there could be fossils in this but it's hard to say see how was the how was all the mud all the accumulation it's cool i love it and maybe just maybe there's another piece of that very same rock i think it is and see it's already been polished down but see this broken piece is even polished down. So it's it ran in it ran in water for at least a little bit. It tumbled down for a while, getting its rounded features at all. And it's just a it's just a debris field. That's what this is. That's why it's like not very interesting. It's because it's all mixed up. You gotta you'll have good pieces here and bad pieces, and in some places it's better than others. Like there's certain places I know I'll be more likely to find petrified wood. So hey, if you have any comments you'd like to add, if you see rocks that you happen to know what they are? Well, go ahead and share it in the comments. Everything's this is. I'm having fun because it's nighttime, and so I'm kind of taking my time conglomerate. It's got a whole bunch of different types of rocks in it, which initially I guess is what all this was. It could have been. Let me. <coughs> you see, it's still in its muddy, solid form, and then there was little pieces of petrified wood scattered in that. And then as the rocks tumbled down, they broke apart. The lighter ones floated to the surface. Heavier things fell to the fell below. Almost looks like a piece of petrified wood. That might be, but I don't really want to dig it out. I got a long way to go. 
I can't be filling up my pockets on my way up. Oh God, I love it. And then these pine trees, sometimes these are... <laughs> I love it. Oh God, I love it. <laughs> oh, th that rock. By truth, that rock is probably the only thing keeping this tree, keeping this tree from falling. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this fucking tree. It stands in defiance. <laughs> should I, should I help it out and remove these heavy, dude? It's like literally, these are the original rocks. Like I would say it like that. These aren't rocks that were washed down. No, these were the original rocks that it grew up on all those years ago. A little tiny thing. And look at it, it's like, so this root got super exposed that it just kind of dried off. It's still got its massive roots holding it to the ground way over there. Like, I'll be, I'll tell you the truth, like, oh wow. Yeah. But see, that's the thing about pine. When it gets exposed to the elements, but man, this is such a beautiful this tree. <sighs> I tell you, some of you trees, you are very special indeed. Okay, you just go in defiance. Love it. I <laughs> wish you a long life. Not that your life is already, it's already been pretty long. And this is, you would say however old this tree is, right? That's when it was still at this level. And this all was not dug out like this. This, this used to, didn't used to be this deep. This is all, in truth, recent too. What, like... 60, 70, 80 years at most. This is only like 70, 80, what, best 90 years? <laughs> and this is how much the landscape's changed just in that, at most, I would say 90 years. God, I love it. And where we're going? In the morning sun. The sun is rising and the birds are singing. That might be interesting one day, but it's never been interesting over there. This side, this side's always been interesting, but that side, nah. It's mostly just shale, and you'd think that'd be good, but I've never seen anything too fantastical over here. But I'm hoping that maybe as it deteriorates a little bit more, maybe it will become interesting. I think I'm starting to see some bedrock layer. But I mean, that's over like 20 years, so I guess in maybe 40 years, all this landscape won't look like this anymore. Yeah, see that red bedrock is just starting to come out. And you're gonna see more of exposed bedrock up ahead. Or you see it in that last walking video I did. Because there's at a point that is ground level as we get higher. But it's, yeah, I've just never found anything interesting over there. I've never found any like petrified wood. I think I found some quartz, but I oh, thought quartz is everywhere. That tree lost the war, but it's only when they die. So here's those rocks on this side, up close a little bit more. And I know it's, it's called shale, but, and it's, it's like fucking fragile as shit. But it's never really been that interesting. And it's, See, it's been eroding away for a while. I've walked through it, and there's like little cooler pieces. Like, this didn't come from the flood. This was a solid piece. I mean, that's the that's about the coolest thing you can get out of this. I mean, that that's driveway patio right there, I do suppose, right? 
It's, it's so fragile. It's pretty cool. Need a stunt, need a plate. I'm pretty sure that's what the natives probably did if this was exposed. But I'm thinking that when the natives were here, I'm thinking that the water level was up there. Because when you hike up to the top there, you'll find more obsidian and little little pieces of obsidian. Sometimes you'll find perfect, perfect arrowheads down here. And it's not people leaving them behind. What it is, is I think what they were doing is that this was all underwater. And I think they were up at the banks shooting at fish. And that's why, and like sometimes they'd miss or sometimes the fish would get away and it'd fall to the bottom and it just survived through all the years. It's rare, I'll give it that. Like I've only found maybe two perfect arrowheads and a lot of broken ones, mostly broken. That's what you're usually gonna find. So I'm thinking that that's what the Indians were doing. And I'm talking a long time ago when this was still a body of an ocean, inline ocean, they say. I don't know if it was salt water. It feels more like fresh water. I mean, I just don't know if it was salt water, but it definitely agreed that this was not only all underwater, that it was flooded, like it wasn't always underwater. There was a base, well yeah, there's at the bottom level, it's all sand and everything, so it was always underwater. But then some massive flood happened and it washed all this sediment, all these rocks and everything from way up and probably further than I could even travel is where some of these rocks came from originally. And they were all deposited. And then as the water lessened, the bank became lower and lower and lower gradually over time too, which is why it slowly is slowly kind of like eroded away. Mostly at the top, but then it's like as the water cut through and it created this channel. And this, this water is all that remains. And this isn't normally flooded either. This is only flooded because of all the snow belt. That's what all this snow is doing. It's melting down and it's feeding this. Oh, aren't you impressive? Yeah. Hi. Pretty girl. All right, we are 25%. All right, so off in this area, coming down from the mountain, but actually it comes from kind of like the rock underneath, there's a spring. That's what I'm trying to say. And so even though all this water may dry up, deep down in there, there would still be water. Which is why <coughs> I'm carrying myself a little hand machete. Well, I'd carry this off to work with me too, but I don't want people to freak out. All right, bedrock in a way. We're ending, we're kind of at the end of this rock formation, which I've never produced anything of interest really. Like this mound, this mound over here always sucked. Ground's always been way different. That huge mound over there has been good. So I think it's like most of everything I find is from that mound. And there's really not much I find over from this mound, except that yes, I could make a bunch of patio stones if I wanted. So you know, it's actually, there is no spring that feeds this running water. All of the water you see right now is straight from snow melt. and nothing else. Maybe if I keep talking, she'll just kind of ignore me. Yeah, there we go. So, like I said, all the water you see here is not actually from a spring of any sort. It's all from the snow melting off. Which you're like, whoa, what, the snow's not even melting? Yeah, but it's still, that's the only reason that this water's flowed down. Is that the way I'm supposed to go? No. No, that's a trap. I'm pretty sure I have to actually hold. I'm not gonna follow my dogs. My dogs are stupid. Yeah, see, my dogs are fucking stupid. That's not the way to go. Let's see, now, solid. Oh, yeah. 
it always kind of had a nice little cave system there, but it doesn't go anywhere. It's not like an actual cave. It's just, just a little hole in the ground. So there is a, oh shit. Fuck, that was the way I needed to go. I think I want to walk up through the riverbed. I think I want to walk up through the riverbed. This is going to be dry all summer. This is the only, this is really only in the next few days, weeks maybe, where I'll be able to actually see water flowing down this. And it recently flooded bigger than this. You can see from the recent mud deposits that the water was actually flowing in this area. But it was very short and it wasn't very long. And that's usually how the flooding starts. It's actually slowly becoming less and less as it was like the last time I hiked up here a couple days. If I would have hiked up here three days ago, this all might still be underwater. Hi, Boulder. How are you? You good? Good. Ooh, that's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh god, dogs. It's freaking cold as shit, and you're already getting wet. More of that, because that's the actual bedrock. So, that's too big for a coyote, and it's too small for a bear. It looks like a cat. I would say, mountain lion, front, oops, sorry, front, back, front, back, possibly. It wasn't, it wasn't sticking around, it was, a, yeah, see, like, fuck my dog's tiny little paws. <laughs> that was a mountain lion. All right, so we're at a divide. That area has just opened up within the last five to eight years. And there you see there's some leaf trees that have made their way down. But I've hiked up that way. It's interesting. I really should. Or I go with the routine, which is flowing a little bit. But see, hiking up that thing is not easy. There is really no access. It's a, it's a trudge. Uh, it'd be it's just going to be too much work right now. So I'm not going to follow that stream. And now, this is a phenomenon, in fact. That this is still flowing. Just a little trickle of water. But it does look like that other way is what's feeding the majority of all the water. That's cool. Because this is not a very reliable stream. Like I said, it's only snow melt. And this is the end of it. Not that much further from where I just stopped recording. So now, now we're gonna take the access road the rest of the way. That, that river, that dry part of the riverbed may flow again, but not until it gets warmer. There's a lot of snow up here still. All right. So now we're at the waypoint. This is where the mom's famous big horn sheep head, or sheep head rock, whatever it's called. We're gonna take this nice and slow. Hello. Hello. How are you? This is a pretty uh, common spot for helicopters and whatnot to fly by. So that's not a normal, I mean, look at this shit. <laughs> It's the cool, it's just a huge conglomerate. And then as it erodes, essentially all those little rocks you see in the riverbed, 
This is their home. This is where they came from. Not particularly special. Wow. This still's pretty cemented in there. It's just a bunch of little rocks, it's a bunch of big rocks, and then cement. Yeah. So. And here it is. And as you can see, it was once like there was a water in it. It's just it fossilized. Just like this. This is like an ancient fossil of a riverbed. These things fall down too. Let me see, like some of these rocks, they'll just come right off. Slowly eroding. That's circular rock. Oh God, this is gonna be so hard. I wanna see what that circular rock looks like. Eh, it wasn't as special as I thought. It's like a fossilized riverbed. It required a, a lot of high temperature. Anyways. <coughs> so that way, God, I haven't been that way in years. That's where the last of the water came from. A lot of water, a lot of water came from this area. But it's this way. I think it's, a, hold on. I gotta see where I'm going. All right. So, yeah, this is the way I want to go. And then a big head, a sheep head. I don't see it. Did it finally fall down, or is that it? Right there. Oh, I think the sheep head. Oh no, there it is, there it is. I see it now. Oh, shoot. And that was the sheep head. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go up this way. My dogs are like, come on, hurry up. It's taking you so long. I don't normally admire all this. I don't, usually I just head to where I wanna go. And get there and get back. Usually what I do, I'm trying to be a little bit more patient. Hoping that I might find something. If I take my time. But, in all truth, I've never seen anything good here. And there's some petrified wood back, but I don't think it came from this. That and I would I would see a lot of it in here and I don't I just see a lot of this little broken up pieces of this but huh. aha here it is. Is it? I kind of think this is where I was finding, where I found the snails and leaves. Like I'm pretty sure I actually found a fossilized leaf in here once. This is a little piece. I wonder if I'm 
went to the wrong area. All right, so I can continue up some rock formations that are just kind of like, <gasps> come over here. I think I want to go over there. Yeah, I think I want to head that way. I bet it's like crossroad because I could. Yeah, see, it's a, the snow is so solid. I could go off in this direction. Where's this direction going to take me? Ooh. That looks kind of interesting, doesn't it? Let's go get a bird's eye view. Oh, I am still kind of conflicted. And, uh, yeah. This is clay. This is clay. Pure clay. Look at that beautiful clay right there. God, if I bring nothing back, maybe I should just bring back clay. But this entire hill is made of that. Okay, so, got some rock formations there. Pretty sure I've been to those rock formations. Yeah, see, I'm still, still playing with my ball of clay. Ah. And it's like, even though those rock formations look really good, I've kind of been there already. I mean, if you guys want to subscribe and help me get enough money for a really good GoPro, do that. But God, that tree, that tree is freaking huge. I kind of want to go to that tree. But my God, would that be hard to go? See, there's my, there's my ball of clay. All right, so this is, I actually, if anything, this is the property that I want to buy. It's right here. This is where I wish, uh, this is what I wish I could buy. Very cool. This is a piece of shale. That's still pretty freaking cool. It's like, of all the property, I always wanted to buy this property. I always wanted to have this property. Mainly because, because look, look at all the clay. I mean, holy shit. I mean, it gets hard as shit here too. <laughs> like, it's all soft and gooey right now, but yeah. But that's always why I wanted this property. Yeah, it's like... <sighs> See, it's, it's not as pure here. That's a, that's a very old route. Oh, 
It looks like I made it to the property I always wanted, which will probably never be able to have. It's got to be a mountain lion. That'd be nice though. It really would. So you that is really really pure fucking clay isn't it god that fucking beautiful oh, you don't even have to process it like down down where I live currently I mean you're, you're filtering this out of the rest of the crap that's there but here it's just this whole mountain's made of fucking clay No, my, no one ever mined up here. It wasn't worth it. They didn't find enough valuable resources to make to say that it was worthwhile. So there were some small miners here and there. But in all truth, not that many. Wow. They don't like the sun. <laughs> it's definitely not that big in real life. But yeah, this road was, uh, they initially put this road in to try and sell it. But as far as I know of, no one ever bought the property. I don't know, I don't know who owns it anymore. It used to be some lawyer. We're at the top. But that'd be cool if you all, whoever's watching this video, even if it's years later, if you all helped me in some way, I'd totally build a house up here. Maybe not right here, because of the clay and all, but I'd totally live up here. I'd probably be pretty freaking happy. I mean, not lollygagging. I don't know, maybe I could get here in a two to four hours. Being misleading for intentional reasons. Faster if I had a, even it's just a motorcycle. Especially as I get older. Everything gets harder when you get older. Camera shy. Camera shy. This is, uh, I think this is the clearing. Right? No? Did oh god, it continues on. Okay. I can't remember. It's like, of all the places, I usually don't visit this place very much, because, in truth, all I'm going to find is clay. Oh, looks like some deer were by here not too long ago. See, here's bedrock. So this be a this be a place to put a house. I'd love to have that. That'd be awesome. That's something I'd want. 
That's something I'd actually enjoy doing, is living up here. I mean, the only reason I don't is, well, it's kind of hard to get up here, which is the excellent part. But if I started traveling here all the time, well, probably wouldn't be long before others follow. This is the end. Circles around this, this tree. But yeah, this road was put in, I think it was a good 40 or 40 or 50, well, 40 years ago. I don't like that. Maybe it wasn't that long. Maybe it was more recent. Alright, so we're up at the property. And I wish I had. I wish was mine. This is where I'd want to live. You can still hear the road. All right, so. There are a bunch of rock formations up there and I think I wanna head up that way because I'm gonna head that way and then I'm gonna head down over there. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. And I hope I don't have to shit like a bear in the woods. So that's oh god, that side just is that side's still fucking frozen. I don't want I don't want to hike through snow. I think I'm good. I think I'll take this way. We'll hit the cave as I leave. I think that's what I'm gonna try and do is come down on top of the cave. Internal battery in this model really sucks, but like a that's why I brought my um my big portable solar powered thing. that anymore. So I did find some interesting pieces of petrified wood as I walked up. It's pretty normal pieces. Them too. Incredible. Found at different areas as I traveled, but it ends in that ravine. It doesn't it, it's indefinitely not from that ravine. Not from those, where those, whatever they're called. This one. It's already in a perfect knife. Knife kind of shape. I don't want to say, I don't want to say it was worked to be that way. Maybe it, it really was just chance. It's really sharp. And then the rest of them, just some more small little pieces. None too, none too fantastic. Oh, this was a piece of quartz. Yeah, so this was, a, this was a big piece of quartz that I actually found up here, which is why they were initially interested in it being a mining spot. It's just the resources weren't good enough. It's a really good clear piece of quartz, though. But in all truth, it it, it, just, it may have been imported here. It may not be indigenous. If this broke, like you can see how this was it, originally it was one big piece, and the most recent damage was that it broke like this in half. Maybe it was a, I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting cold, which means it's time to move. Uh, mountain mahogany. Makes a good incense. I think it has some medicinal purposes too. Haley. Thank you for the size comparison. You're awesome.
Yeah, okay. This is this is just uh, this is a little slanted way to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's slick. Oh, I'm too old to take chances. Oh, I'm not moving anything. Ow. Fucking hurt. Hey, hey, hey. God, it wasn't even that hard. I love how life just comes out of nothing sometimes. I'm surprised of what can live in such harsh conditions. Uh, is that a little fun there? The temperatures up here are kind of preserving in effect. It does get hot as balls, don't get me wrong. It's just when it's hot as balls, there's absolutely no humidity. There's no moisture. Like, all this snow is going to disappear. And thus, then, this is where this little, as you can see, that's why there's this little tiny cavern in here. Even though it used to be a lot bigger. There used to be a lot of water flowing through here. I agree. But now, yeah, it's just with the snow belts. I really probably should quit smoking cigarettes. Oh no, I had a neighbor. He did die, but I had a neighbor talk about it. He used to smoke all the time. And he also used to run track. And he had really high numbers on track. And he wanted to, he quit smoking to see if he could run faster. And he told me he's making the only thing he noticed, the only change he noticed is that he could smell dirty old men in the grocery store. You know, the ones that don't bathe because they don't think they need to. And they go, what he thought was a couple weeks, but in truth, could have been like a month or so. I mean, you're retired. You never do anything. Why take a bath, right? Yeah, onwards and upwards. Down one side, up the other. Oh, it's not... Technically the end. We are kind of close to that. So I might as well might as well go up that way. Now that I'm on the top of this. It drops down again over there, so I think I'm gonna go to that. Get to the top. And then we can shoot over the the top back down to the other side. I think I'm gonna do that.
Uh, <laughs> this carpet, this stuff is excellent for carpet. It's very drought resistant too. And it's all, it's all happy, it just got watered. See, hey, oh, we got a little, little glass, but we got a little, little moss too. This is very drought resistant moss. It's like, uh, there's some of the moss, and it's kind of dry. That's what really likes to grow out here. Then it looks like that. Maybe a bird. see that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Ugh. Swear to God, I never saw that before. I think it was used to just be standing straight up and then it eroded away and it fell over on its head. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Because just looking at it, wherever some of the other striations are, I swear to God, that's hollow. Some bird likes to shit up here. So there's probably, and it looks like there's like what could be caverns up there, little hideaways, but. Oh, wow, that's so cool. It looks like it's Maybe even kind of charred in there. Nah. Yeah, it definitely fell over sideways. Yeah, see, it's like you get these little recessions in here. I'm gonna go over there for a second. And a nice little ominous rock formation.
Ow. Fucking pine. I just wanted to punch someone back in the face. I mean, literally, I just did all that just to... Look at this one thing over here. Anyways, oh, it's weird. I don't even know. Right, so that, that looks like bird shit. It's not. It's a calcium deposit. That's what all that white shit is. It's not bird shit, it's actually some type of slag. I've seen this in other areas, but not as much here.